There's no other archetype in NBA 2K18 that can stat stuff like the lockdown defender. I mean, 22 rebounds, 10 assists. This game I had 6 steals, 17 rebounds, 11 assists, 31 points. 52.7 steals and 13 rebounds, making every single Pro Am team quit. And even in Arena Pro Am, 8 steals. You can stat Steve blocks, steals, rebounds, assists, all that good stuff. But after all that stat stuffing, we finally got to 91 uh, overall. We got layups and passing. Not too hyped about that, but I am hyped about getting on call coach badge well not really but i'm hyped about getting defensive anchor helps his teammates perform better defensively now there's no way to check other real players so we gotta go head into my career and see how defensive anchor is gonna work now nobody on the thunder has defensive anchor so we're gonna take a look at russell westbrook's defense and also Paul George's defense since both of them are pretty good defenders in NBA 2K. So when you look at Russell Westbrook, defensive rebounding 90, on ball defense IQ is at 83, low post defense IQ 42, pick and roll defense 85, help defense 86, defense and consistency 85, steal is at a 71, block is at a 47, shot contest is a nine. He's a pretty good defender, man. I mean, listen, he's a pretty good defender in this game. Lateral quickness, 87, 98 speed. And those are the main stats we're worried about. So what we got to do is we got to go into NBA 2K18, my career. And once we are on the defensive end, we can check Russell Westbrook's stats. So you see the tip up and he finally gets control of the ball. And then I go ahead to game stats, go to Russell Westbrook. And check his defensive stats, man. So the first thing I noticed, right? Defensive rebounding, right? Defensive rebounding right here is a 93. It was a 90 before, man. On ball defense IQ, 86. It went up by three points. Help defense IQ went up by one point. Pass perception went up by one point. Steal went up by one. Block went up by one. Shot contest went up by one. And the lateral quickness also went up by one point so it wasn't that big of an upgrade but it definitely is noticeable that he does get a bunch of attributes raised up even if it's just one point it still makes a difference man and now we're looking at paul george's defense iq is at 87 pick and roll defense iq is at 86 help defense is a 86 pass perception 84 defensive consistency 90 Steel is at a 69, block is at a 47, shot contest is a 92, and his hustle is a 90, and we also got lateral quickness at an 87 for Paul George. So if you look at Paul George over here, right, his defensive rebounding, if you can check that, goes up by 5 points. Now it's a difference, his on-ball defense goes up by 3, low post defense goes up by 1, help defense goes up a little bit, defense and consistency actually stays the same steel goes up by one block goes up by one shot contest actually goes up by one lateral quickness also goes up by only one point so listen it's gonna definitely help your team's defense out i mean defensive anchor that's what the bad says it does only by a couple of points but you gotta take into effect that it's raising multiple attributes up man it would be a difference if it, was, if it was raised to like two attributes by a couple of points. But it's raising multiple attributes up by either one or two points. So I think overall, that is going to help overall your defense and especially your team. And think about it, right? This badge might have a different effect on different positions and what archetype they are. Because Paul George is known for a defender. His rebounding, his defensive rebounding went from a 69 to a 74 that's a big leap that is a huge leap honestly a 69 rebounding compared to a 74 rebounding so now our team is better at defensive rebounds the whole team is a little bit better a little bit quicker they're a little bit faster and also the team's defense as a whole because i'm already on the court is already a lot better because i have defensive anchor gold or hall of fame and you also might have defensive anchor 
So the whole team's defense is going to be significantly a little better. It's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be to a point where it's cheesing. It's not giving plus five to everyone's attributes because that would be a little bit cheese. I mean, think about if I was plusing five attributes to your lateral quickness or giving you plus five in steel or plus five in shot contest. That might be a little bit too much because everybody on the team is getting these attribute boosts. I checked it on Steven Adams. I checked it on Patrick Patterson. Every single person on the team is getting these defensive attribute boosts, man. So this badge does exactly what it's supposed to do, man. The lockdown defender with this badge is definitely going to have an impact on the game. And I've already been having an impact, man. Getting steals on my own. I mean, you are the lockdown defender. You're the focal point of that defense. So defensive anchor, man, that is definitely worth grinding the lockdown defender to 91 overall, in my opinion, especially if you play arena program. It just makes your team that much better, man. But anyways, man, leave a like for more. You've seen what defensive anchor raises and what it doesn't raise. I'm out for now. Peace.